everybody. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I don't know about you, but when I get up in the morning, the first thing I like to do is make my bed and get my room cleaned completely back up. That's the first thing I like to do when I roll out of bed in the daytime. I wasn't able to do that today because I had errands to run this morning, but as soon as I got back home, that was the first thing I did. I got right to it. Anyway, enjoy the video and have a wonderful day. everybody welcome to Saturday oh, it's a beautiful day outside today I hope everyone's having a really good Saturday today um, I'm doing okay today I got up this morning and ran some errands and I had to go and drop some stuff off at the post office and it just felt kind of good to get out today and get some sunlight and some fresh air on my bones it felt good so I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody's having a really good weekend. Um, <clears throat> I drove through Steak and Shake today <laughs> um, for the first time in a long time. I drove out there and got myself a burger and a sweet iced tea and some french fries. And it was really, really good. Sometimes you just got to treat yourself to some things. So um, I did that today. Um, and at the beginning of the video, I was just kind of getting up and letting you guys <laughs> see me start my day. And I don't know about y'all, but I cannot really get through my day if I don't start it out by making up my bed and straightening up my room every day. Um, even if it's not in a really, you know, big mess, if I've been doing crafts or something at night or I was over at the desk doing something, I like for my everyday living space to just be really comfortable and um, pleasing to the eye. So I can't, I don't really feel well if I don't make my bed up and shake my carpets out and stuff like that. You know, it's just, uh, it makes me feel better to do that when I get up uh, in the daytime. So this morning when I ran out, I kind of had to get out early so I didn't have the time to do it before I left. But as soon as I got back, I was like, let me get this area back right <laughs> so um yeah but anyway um so this week has been nothing nothing special has been going on um still getting um emails about my vaccine shot um and just pretty much questionnaires and stuff like are you still interested in getting your vaccine and that sort of thing so um i just can't wait till they finally send me that appointment saying hey you are scheduled for your first dose of the COVID-19 vaccination. I can't wait for that because the quicker we get this ball rolling, the sooner I can get back out here and do the things that I want to do, um, including traveling, shopping, all of that type of stuff. So, so yeah. So, um, I bought a little something this week that I want to share with you guys. So, for those of you, for those of you that don't know, um, I will be 52 years old next month in April. And so I am at that stage of my life where menopause is real. And ladies, you know what I'm talking about if you've already been there or going through it. So, um, and we run the air conditioner pretty rapidly all summer long. You know, my mom doesn't like to be hot at all either. But, um, you know, we've had a couple of days in the wintertime where it's supposed to be really, really cold outside. And it just happened to be really really hot i mean it got up to like 80 degrees last week and you know we're we're not really even at spring yet so i thought well we are at spring now i think spring was march 21st i think or something like that but um it you know what i mean it's 31 day 80 the next so i said i'm gonna 
order something besides just a regular fan to put in my room um, just to keep my room cool until we decide we want to turn the air conditioner on for the whole house. Because it's really no point in turning your air on when it's 80 degrees on Monday, but then it drops back down to 30 on Tuesday and you got to turn the heat back on. And that's basically what our weather has been doing. So let me show you guys what I bought myself. I haven't used it yet, but it is a portable air conditioner <laughs> that I got from my room. Of course, I got this from Amazon. Remember I told you, ladies, Amazon has everything we could possibly need. Anyway, it's a sort of like a personal portable air conditioner. And the way it works is you put ice cubes and cold water in this little bottle. You fill this up. This comes out. And you fill it up with your freezing cold water ice cubes in there. And then put that back in there and then turn your fan on. And it has one, two, three, three speeds at the top. And then the, the fan is in the back, but the air conditioner, cold air comes out of this part. So I have not tried it yet. I'll probably try it when it gets a little bit warmer because today it is 62. So that's pretty cool for me. Um, but I, and you know, I had to get it in pink because it had to go in my room. <laughs> but when I try this and I find out how this really works, I'll be sure to let you ladies know. But um, when you're in menopause, you got to do what you got to do to stay cool and comfortable. So that was one of the things um, that I bought. Also, I finally finished that great big paper purse. I finished that off and I got that in the mail and um, for my aunt's birthday. And I, I really hope she enjoys it. I just filled it up with a whole bunch of crafty stuff that she can um, craft with. Um, little piece, bits and pieces of things. A lot of it, new stuff that I had that I just hadn't got around to using and I had an abundance of it. So I was like, let me give some of this stuff to her so she can uh, get some fun use out of it like I do. So I finished that project up, still working on my diamond paintings. Um, I hadn't really been working on my diamond painting that much this week because I was trying uh, my best to get that um, paper purse done for her birthday and get that in the mail. So so I guess next week sometime I'll get back into the diamond painting. Um, also, I was looking at some of my new craft videos and there is a paper backpack um, that I'm interested in making. So if I get around to making that, I definitely will do a video on that because I love showing you guys the crafts and um, stuff that I actually do um, in my free time. That's what I do. I craft and it keeps me sane. Um, it gives me something to do and it also helps me with my headaches and my backache because I'm more focused on my projects than I am the pain that I that I'm going through um so yeah when I get started on that paper backpack I'll be sure to let you guys see what that's gonna look like because I think it's gonna be super cute um and I'm still waiting on my Ulta Beauty uh package to come um you know I'm just assuming Maybe some of the products are coming from different places that they're putting in my box. I don't know. A lot of times when you order stuff, especially from stores that you think, wow, this is just in my town. You'd think it'd get here in a day or two. That stuff is coming all the way from another state. So um, that's, that's, that's the reason why sometimes this stuff takes a long time. And especially if it's coming from California, that's across the country. So it may take two, three weeks to get something that you thought would get here in two days. Um, and for the most part, I don't need to pay for express shipping because express shipping can be really pricey and I'm not in any hurry whatsoever for makeup and girly products to get here to have to pay $50 more for it to get here quick. I'm, I'm cool with waiting, but anyway, when that does arrive, I definitely will do that Ulta beauty haul for you guys. Cause that's where I ordered all of it from. Um, but so that's pretty much how my week has been going. Um, Speaking of Ulta Beauty, um, I was reading an article the other day where some women were talking about um, people bashing them for wearing a lot of beauty products, such as a lot of makeup and always having their nails done and hair. You know, that seems to be a, a, a big topic. They were talking about how um, 
they didn't understand why so many people were against people wearing wigs and extensions and that kind of stuff. Well, a lot of people were saying it's 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 ridiculous that people spend that much money to to buy that type of thing. And um, that's a personal thing, you know. I feel like um, beauty products are a personal thing. And as a woman, I feel like you should do whatever you want to do and whatever you feel like you need to do to make yourself feel better. And at the end of the day, that's a personal thing. And I am all for it. I am a girly girl. I like the eyelashes. I like the fingernails. And I love the hair extensions, new wigs, all of it. And it is what it is. I mean, it's okay for women to want to look and feel beautiful. And there's nothing wrong with that. And um, anything you want to do to enhance your looks, that's a personal choice. And as a woman, I'm all for it. I say, do do what you want to do with you. So, um, you know, hair dyes. You know, nowadays you see all the younger girls in their, their, in their hair, all these different colors, purples, pinks, blues, greens, yellows. They're expressing themselves, and I don't see anything wrong with that. You know, you're not hurting anybody by dyeing your hair purple. Uh, you're not hurting a soul. And if that's what you want to do, then that's what you need to do. And that's which fact. I done seen some girls out here with some really pretty... Um, I guess it's like a magenta color. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So my message to women today is do what you want to do to make yourself feel beautiful via eyelashes, <laughs> hair extensions, wigs, makeup, whatever makes you feel beautiful, you do you at the end of the day because nothing wrong with it. Um, and I love it. Hey, I love the fact that today in 2020, if you want your hair to be blonde, but you don't want to put the chemicals in your hair to make your hair blonde, you can throw on a blonde wig. And they got some wigs out here today that are absolutely beautiful. So you can throw on a blonde wig and you can be blonde all day, all week, all month, all year, whatever you want. And you didn't even damage your real hair by doing it. So yeah, ladies, people who have um, negative comments and stuff about you enhancing your looks i say don't pay that any attention and keep on doing you so that's that <laughs> but um so anyway um has anybody done anything this week that is just wonderful like did you travel anybody been to the beach because we're coming up um to that time of the year and especially in a lot of places it's warm already and if you're from florida you were able to go to the beach all year long, so you simply don't count. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's time for the beach, and it's it's you know I love summertime. It's time for flip flops and all that fun stuff that we get to wear and going to the beach and all those fun activities. I can't wait for all of it. Um, but um, anyway, today's video will be not really long. I just wanted to touch bases with you guys. I did not do a video on Monday and I did not do a video on Friday. Not a sit down video anyway. Um, I did do a house video. Some of my favorite modern home houses. I did that. And I did um, a short craft video to show you the finished product of my paper purse that I made. And I also showed you some craft cards that I made. Some birthday cards that I made. Um, so, um, but other than that, I really didn't, I didn't do that much this week. Um, kind of rested a little bit, but anyway, not going to keep this long. I hope you guys had a really good day today. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful weekend, wherever you are. Stay safe. Keep your family safe. Get your vaccine. Eat your vegetables, take your vitamins and drink your water. And stay healthy for your family members and your friends and all of your loved ones. We got to stay the hell. We got to stay healthy. That's just something we got to do. Anyway, you guys, I love you. I will be working on some content for you uh, for next week. I'm going to sit down and think about what I want to do for video for next week. But anyway, I love you. Please stay safe and I will talk to y'all next week.